Waking up to the sounds of the waves crashing the shore is something we are looking forward to. Well, this is our day 6 in Goa and we are currently in South Goa. Goa has been amazing so far. This trip has offered us beyond our expectations. So let's see what we can explore more from the South Goa. You guys stay tuned. In contrast to hustle and bustle of North Goa, the serenity of South Goa takes you to another world where you are at a peace with yourself. Here, one can find nature's untouched beauty in abundance. Hello, Namaskara from South Goa and welcome back to this channel, Wanderer's Tales. Uh, today is day 16 in uh, Goa and currently we are in a beautiful property called uh, Dwaraka Ipo Beach Resort which is located on Kola Beach and I must say that the views from this uh, resort is just amazing. The food is definitely uh, delicious and uh, if, if you are a seafood lover you would just love this place but uh, delicious food they prepare. Well it's not only the seafood that is amazing but uh, the vegetarian food is also great. They have a lot of cuisines preparing, prepared over here. So all in all it was just amazing and delicious food over here. So right now time is 9.15 and now we will go and uh, have our breakfast and later uh, we will check out from this property by 11 o'clock and head towards uh, uh, South Kanakona, Petnam Beach. Uh, but before we head to Petnam Beach, we are uh, actually planning to visit a uh, uh, fort nearby which is called Kabode Rama Fort. Uh, not sure if we can visit uh, because it already started a little bit raining and uh, let's see, we will keep you posted. If, if the, if the weather is clear, we can definitely head towards the Kabode Rama port and explore some places around. So let's see, we'll keep you all posted. If you are not planning to visit uh, this property, um, the Dwaraka Goa Beach Resort, uh, you could still uh, come and visit this viewpoint. Um, it's just mesmerizing views. Um, you're on top of the uh, mountain, and you know you can see uh, the beach uh, underneath. You know, it's, um, it is similar to the um, Varkala Cliff, I would say. Um, when we had been to Arkala, we had uh, kind of experienced the same thing. We were on top of the cliff and the uh, sea being at the bottom. So, um, at least for this mesmerizing views, um, you should definitely visit uh, Kola Beach if you are in and around uh, South Goa.
also plan to do dolphin ride which we missed in north goa uh, at least here uh, but let's see how the next uh, two days goes uh, here in south goa um, so far south goa had been very peaceful very um, mesmerizing for us um, i think if uh, north goa is more the party kinds and south goa is more the peaceful kind as how um, you know we we can look at uh, goa as but yeah uh, let's see how today goes um, we'll kind of uh, share our journey uh, further ahead stay with us so well uh, kabode rama is about 13 km from the property where we are staying and uh, it should take around uh, 25 minutes so let's go let's go The fort stands on a cape at the extreme end of Kola village in Kanakona. According to legends, Lord Rama, his wife Devi Sita and brother Lakshmana took refuge here during their exile time. This is how the Kabode Rama fort got its name. The local Sunda ruler built the fort and ruled it until the Portuguese conquered it and restored it. Cape Goa view point is another view point about 15 minutes away from Kabode Rama fort. The minute you approach the cape, you instantly know that the beach is waiting for you on the other side. You can mesmerize the sky, sea and the palm trees. This is beautiful like a postcard. we wanted to visit the restaurant but uh, simba was not allowed uh, to the restaurant so we thought we will skip uh, skip the restaurant and head towards our next resort which is located in uh, pattem beach yes. so pattem beach is about 23 km and it will take about uh, 40 minutes drive so let's go we'll keep you posted uh, let's, go. let's go let's go simba let's go so we Kasa Jali is a charming resort perched on rocks of small peninsula at the north end of Patnam Beach in Kanakona. All the rooms have a stunning view over the Patnam Bay and is set in gorgeous lush tropical gardens. The rooms have queen sized double beds and these rooms are built in the charming style of goan fisherman cottages thick stone walls and tiled roofs keep them cool in hot weather and warm in cool nights they are also furnished with some local crafted furniture After check-in at the property, we had our lunch, followed by some good sleep, listening to the waves crashing the shores. people time is 5:50 and uh, we have just uh, come out of the resort and uh, walk to a beach called uh, Patnam beach 
we have come for a beach walk and we are planning to visit some shacks, beach shacks if it is available. But uh, let's see, we'll uh, keep you all posted. But uh, meanwhile, you can also uh, view the uh, beach and it is just amazing. It, right now, it is the golden hour and it is happening. That's the reason you can see all the golden colors. There is something about the sunset at Patnam beach that has a healing effect on you and the distant hues of violet blue and the overpowering saffron making it unforgettable. If you are a photographer, the kits on this less crowded beach will give you the best perfect frames for photography. There is a elephant rock here. Basically, it's a, a rock formation as an elephant face on the banks of the uh, sea. So we thought it might be interesting to go and check that out. So we're heading for the same. Um, the only scary part is there are many, many stray dogs here, and uh, we are a we are little worried because we are taking Simba with us and he is barking at every dog he's seeing and we are actually getting into dog fights and rescuing Simba out of it. So let's see what else we get to explore here. The quest for right kind of chill took us to Patnam beach in South Goa and believe it or not there is something about this beach that calms our soul. Well if you want to avoid the crowded Palolayam beach then this beach is for you.